Hey, how's everybody doing today? Hopefully you're having a great day. So today, guys, we're looking at this. This is the Sensen Pro 2500K through 8500K color temperature video LED light. And guys, this is fully loaded and packs a big punch. It really literally does. Um, it's just beautiful. It feels great. Gives you so many different options to do different things. So as we know, the color temperature, it can go warm all the way to white, all the way up to 8,500K and as low as 2,500K. So how low can you go? So very warm to very white bright. Also, we have the Lumis Control 0 to 100. And we're just going to show you right now, guys, these are the buttons on the side. And you're going to be going up and down with the Lumis and this is going to be your on and off button. So these three buttons are nice, easy to control right here. And then we have different modes, which is a nice little option, meaning this actually has six different special effects. It has a lightning effect, two of them to be exact, although it doesn't really look like lightning like Shazam. It also has a CCT demo lighting effect still going on the modes here, guys. But the last one, which works really well, is a red and blue, kind of like a, a flash from the cop car. So maybe you don't have a budget in your film. You can actually use this, and it's going to flash blue and red. And then you could have two uh, police officers walk into your scene, and you don't need a cop car. Because um, the blue and red really looks legit. This is also waterproof, guys. Um, so that's pretty cool. It's actually magnetic. So you can cha -ching, stick it on different things. Uh, I've tried it on my refrigerator, microwave, mailbox, even some parts under the hood if you got to work on your car. So that's very cool. And let me show you what else, guys. It even comes with this nice metal solid tripod. And guys, this is definitely, you know, solid, legit, very strong, very sturdy, very compact. Again, metal. Did I mention this is metal, guys? No plastic, no cheap parts. And it's rechargeable with the 2200 mAh battery, so it should be good for about two hours. So we also have standard screws here, quarter inch. We got two on the bottom we can use. There's one on the side. There's where the charger is, five volt, as you can see. And let me show you some other toys it comes with. Even comes with an Allen key, guys. That's for the tripod to help you uh, tighten and adjust that more. Comes with this, which is for the uh, cold shoe. Because who doesn't like cold shoes? Cold shoes, guys, you know? Honestly, I like warm socks. But uh, as you can see, this is going to fit most of your tripods. And obviously, your little, uh, you know, you got your lights and you got your, you got your what? Your phone holders. You can put that on here and then this will be adjustable. And again, guys, metal parts. Very solid, very secure, easy to turn, easy to screw. Um, you know, like sometimes you used to put cameras and holders on here and then they get all flimsy. No, this is actually tight. When you tie this, this is not moving, unlike the cheapy ones. And it even has a little gauge, you guys can see, to get the precise numbers. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, and we also have two holders. Because I hate when you get tripods and other things that don't have holders. And these are nice pouches. Not too bad. Just a little something extra. So let's turn this baby on, guys, and show you some stuff. And did I mention it's going to actually have a digital display on the back, which is nice. So no more guessing on what the battery life is and what you have. You can see. There it is, guys. Right now we got 75% brightness and 5000K Lumis. We can see the battery gauge, and if you need to change the mode, you just tap it. So now we would actually adjust the brightness. And I will show you a demonstration, guys, using the brightness, but I'm just showing you all the features. So again, we go to mode back and forth, and if we go up and down, like for the uh, color temperature, you can see, very easy, you can even hold it in, it goes up. So I'm just holding in the side button, guys, and then we can go down. And then if we tap it again, we go back to the brightness, and same idea, guys. You can go up, you can go down, very easy. I like how it has the nice blue lettering there, nice and bobby digital. 
Okay guys, so this is probably what you're looking for. Here's the actual test with the light on, off, color temperature, Loomis, all that good stuff. So this is with the light off. As you can see, the picture quality, very dark, very dull. Gaten's face isn't clear, it's kind of in the shadow. His clothes aren't that bright, they're dark, dull. So let's turn the light on. And you will notice the difference off the bat. So now you can see it's obviously brighter and we're gonna do it at 75% brightness, but we're gonna start the color temperature all the way at the bottom. So this is 2500K. So you can see it's very warm, very saturated. And we're gonna gradually go up with the color temperature. So let's go up a little bit. This is 3500K. And this is 5,000. Now, to me, this looks perfect, guys. You got the right color, the right brightness. It just looks good to me right here. So this is 75% brightness at 5,000K. But we're going to go higher, and you'll notice it'll get, you know, whiter and brighter. Uh, but it'll look a little washed out when you go too high. We'll see. So here's... 6500k still looking pretty good guys but you lose a little color as you can see and now we'll just probably max it all the way up to 8500 gradually going there 7500 8000 8500k still looks great looks bright um, colors are vibrant still but obviously if we go back down to 5k just to show you real quick we'll go all the way down to 5K. And there we go. Although now that looks maybe too dark, but the colors pop more. So maybe somewhere in the middle is what you want. But that's a pretty good test. Just letting you guys know that the light obviously makes a great difference. You have a lot of, di a lot of different control. You can adjust the brightness. Okay guys, so let me just show you uh, my favorite special effect. It's not really something that I'm gonna use, but again, they give you six of them. You just do a little double tap, like you're tap dancing, and it goes all the way to A, B, C, D. As you can see right now, I think it's doing a CCT demo. So that could be maybe pretty cool. I don't know, maybe you gotta shoot a grimy, gringy, dark bathroom where the light bulb is just flashing a little bit or a club scene. Kind of got the, uh, what do you call it, the strobe light effect. But I think that the cop car effect, and let me show you guys, I think that's the very last one. Well, we're going through these a little bit, but I wanted to go, there we go. So this is the very last one, F. And you can see guys, actually, let me turn the light out so you guys can actually see, it looks like a flashing cop car. Look at that, guys. So that is pretty legit. I mean, you could just hit, make the sirens and your sound effects, then use this, then have two cops walking in on scene, you know, arresting somebody, saying, hey, yo, who's over there? Who's being a mameluke and whatnot? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a baseball bat? Well, I got a gun. How you doing? So uh, very cool, very legit. Okay, guys, so I think that's about it for my video. Hopefully you enjoyed the demonstration. -y. Hopefully it was molto bien e grande e excelente mayo fratellos. Uh, any comments or questions, leave them in the comment box below. Obviously, I'll put a link in the description to purchase this on Amazon, you know. So signing off, sayonara, hasta la vista, baby.